So what if I told you that you can actually still use your Windows XP in 2024? You can browse the web, um, check your social media, go to YouTube, or visit whatever website that you want to visit on Windows XP in 2024. There is actually a way for you to browse the web in a very, very archaic operating system, very, very old version of Windows. Uh, now, there is someone on GitHub who decided that, hey, you know what? Why not we do something with the Chromium browser, since that is open source, of course, and make it compatible to Windows XP so that anyone who uses Windows XP can still browse the web in 2024. Supermium. Wow. <laughs> yeah, of course, there is the Mium at the end there, so it's obviously based off of Chromium. It's a Chromium fork, which mean it which means it came directly from the Chromium project and made it compatible to a very old operating system. Wow. So this is the official GitHub repo on this thing that is updated all the way to Chromium version 121. So as you can see right here, this is the latest version of Supermium, and it's based off of Chromium 121, uh, which was released, um, I believe, uh, last year. So this is a very recent version of Chromium. And because of that, because this is based off of a very recent version of Chromium, theoretically, you can visit any website on this um, forked um Chromium browser and run it on Windows XP so that you can run any modern websites without any issues with JavaScript, HTML5, all that kind of stuff. So, wow. This is actually a very interesting project and I'm just, uh, I just started using this uh, a few days ago and I actually gave it a try. So we have this setup right here. I did do a little bit of a configuration to um, set this up on XP because there is a bug, but uh, I'm not going to delve deep into how to do that. Uh, you can just check it on the uh, issues tab here on the, the GitHub repo of this project. And uh, if, you're, if you're stuck and all that kind of stuff, you want to try installing this on in XP. But I believe that installing this on later versions like Vista and Windows 7 is much actually uh, it's actually much easier than just installing it on a on a .exe installer and then you're good to go after that. Anyway, so let's give this a try. Um, so we have the repo here. I already uh, installed this, and let's go to XP. Uh, of course, I'm gonna. Oh, oh my god, the cat is back. Oh my god, why are you gonna disturb me, huh? No. Oh, would you look at this? Oh, yeah, this is my cat, by the way. Look at how much he has grown um, la since the last time he appeared on this channel, if you guys remember that. <laughs> All right, so we're here on XP. This is just in a virtual machine. I don't actually have an actual uh, physical machine that runs an XP. But, yeah, anyway, um, let's run the browser. All right, and, and there we go. So now we have a modern browser on XP. So, uh, let's take a look at the version. If you don't believe me, this is based off of Chromium 121. And it's in 32-bit. Would you... Wow. Y you know you know what's really interesting about this project? Is the fact that this is in 32-bit. This version... If this was forked from the Chromium project, and it's in 32-bit right now, does that mean that the developer had to actually like do a bunch of like changes in the source code to make this compatible with uh, x86.32. Let's take a look at uh, the browser. Let's see if we can surf the web in here, of course. So this is based off of a very recent version of Chrome. Um, of course, let's let's uh, let's go to YouTube. Yeah, there's YouTube right here. It's uh, it's it's slow because of the VM. But if you um, maybe if you try to running this on an actual physical hardware, um, as long as it has the uh, right amount of RAM or maybe a little bit of graphics on it, then it's not going to be that bad, right? As long as it's like maybe a, an Intel Core 2 duo. I don't even know how will that perform. Um, uh, so yeah, I don't, I don't know. Try it, guys, and uh, let me know. Anyway, so there we go. We have YouTube on, 
on Windows XP. If you try doing this in other browsers, I tried doing this in other browsers back then, but um, I believe that they're starting to lose compatibility, especially on like really old versions of uh, Firefox and Chrome. Uh, what was the last version of Chrome that supported XP? I think it's 49, version 49. That was like back in 2017 or something. That was the last version that's compatible with XP. And imagine that, that was in 2017. I thought 2017 was like five years ago or three years ago, but no, seven years ago. Wow. Okay, that gave me a little bit of existential crisis, but anyway. Okay, okay, let's uh, let's get back into uh, what we're doing here. Um, so basically, we have a browser that's running at a 32-bit. I don't know how well this performance is for um, you know what? I'll do that next time on uh, Windows XP 64 uh, and see how it'll perform. But for now, let's just focus on what we have here. This is 32-bit. It's really interesting. So, yeah, it's a little slow. Uh, pretty slow. Um, but I guess it's expected. So, let's see if we can... Yeah, let's, let's start running a bit of video. Hopefully, I don't get um, copyright infringement from doing this. Uh, maybe whatever, yeah, maybe a news or a news video or something. Yeah, was, you know, just to test it, okay? Just to test it. Test this whole thing out. And it works! What? And would you look at that? It actually works. So, uh, I don't know. Maybe because this is on a VM, it's uh, going on a lower quality by default. But if we try 720p, yeah, it still works, I guess. Because I'm using it on a VMware. But anyway, you get the point. It actually works. You can basically surf the modern web in Windows XP because, um, oh my god, <laughs> no, 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 no. So this is actually really interesting. I actually like this. But you know what's actually, um, you know what? I actually thought of something. You know what's, you know what's really cool? Um, what if we try uh, web? Let's let's see what happens if we try web development on Windows XP because since now we have a modern browser and we can load modern websites, so why not actually do a bit of uh, web development? See if we can actually see if it's actually possible to uh, um, develop a web app using Windows XP. Let's give that a try. But the problem I have with Node is that this is the last version of Node that's compatible with XP. Unfortunately, this is version 5.12. If you, if you look at this. Uh, online and when this version was released, I believe it was 2018 or 2017. It's just so really old. Uh, there's a lot of limitations on this thing compared to the very modern version of Node. So let's see what happens though. Uh, I do have some GitHub repos that I wanted to... Okay, so this is my GitHub and I do have a bunch of... I have a view project here. This is just a test view project since I'm learning view. Uh, just a simple task application. Um, yeah, let's see what happens if we try. And let's use git for this. Let's open up command prompt. Since I just copied this from my host machine, because I already have the project on my host machine, the folder containing the, uh, the whole project complete with the uh, uh, node module modules, and just um, copy pasted it into the VM because what the, the first problem I encountered with this attempt was if I try to npm install yeah for example if I npm install this right um, it's gonna it's gonna throw me a lot of errors because this is a very old version of node and a lot of the dependencies do not support these old versions of node so unfortunately it's not gonna work let's see let's see what happens let's see we got an error here unsupported, unsupported, blah, blah, blah. So we can't build the project properly, so I just copied the whole project. However, another problem arose when I tried to finally run uh, the project or the view application. So if I try npm, so if I try uh, npm run dev, the keyword run and dev doesn't exist on this version of Node. Run and dev. Miss it. It's a missing script. It doesn't exist. This version of Node is old, but this is the last version of Node that's compatible with Windows XP. So unfortunately, we cannot build projects using Vue or from 
uh, React or Next.js because it's just going to throw a bunch of errors since this is very old version. So, oof, that didn't work. However, there is another attempt that I wanted to do um, to make this work. And that is, I do have a project that I made here on GitHub. Um, let, me, let me scroll back down here. Here. Uh, I do have a project here that is just pure vanilla JS with a little bit of Ajax. So if we scroll down here. Uh, this one right here. So it, it, yeah, and it's PHP. <laughs> who, who uses PHP in 2024? Hey, 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 hey. I do. Um, and yeah, this is just in vanilla plain JS and PHP with a bit of bootstrap. Not, yeah, a, maybe a lot of bootstrap actually. <laughs> And this is for a school project, so yeah, so there's the logo of the school. Anyway, what I did here is instead of cloning this, of course I don't want to clone this since there's no modules that's not going to build properly. So what I did was basically I just uh, copied the whole project that's on my host machine and then pasted it here. So I have a zip file containing the project. It's right here, I believe. Uh, or maybe it's on the downloads documents. There we go. Uh, there, there it's in the docs. And this is running um uh this is running on MySQL Apache, so I have to install XAMPP on this. But but I believe there's an old version of XAMPP that actually works on XP. So I downloaded that and I placed it on the downloads. It's right here, I guess. Oh wait, it's not it's not there yet, actually. It's on my host machine. Okay, so now let's try installing this. All right, so let's try installing this. Hopefully it works. And I mean, this is a very old version of XAMPP too. <laughs> All right, there we go. Uh, okay. All right, so let's let's run Sam. Yeah, let's run that. And there we go. Ooh, damn, yeah, look at this console. <laughs> okay, so let's uh, run MySQL. Oh wait, oh yeah, I almost forgot the database. There you go, so there's the whole SQL. So let's see, uh, let's try running uh, localhost HP. Ah, nice, there we go. Now this is running uh, PHP 5. I believe this, uh, this schema is from a PHP 8.3. Wow, there's a lot of changes in here. That's really, really old version. Okay, uh, let's see if we can manage to import that despite the version difference. Oh boy, I sure hope this doesn't give me any errors or anything at all. Oh. Yep. <laughs> Six and a half hours later. Okay, so if we import again. There we go. Awesome. Wow, that, that took like minutes to fix. I don't have any code editor here besides Notepad++. This thing right here. <laughs> okay, so now that we've imported the database, uh, let's go to localhost. Let's see if it works. There we go. <laughs> Please look at that, a modern website. Yeah, I mean, it looks really modern, even though it's it just runs in vanilla JS. But anyway, um, Still nice though, even without framework. Oh, oh no. Three weeks later. Okay, so basically, if I don't know if password hash uses the same parameters, but if we try to use it, yeah, what if we try doing that? Uh, password verify. No, no more instance. Okay. Okay, let's try that again. There's no... What? Bruh. Um, oh, because I was using the hash. Okay. Uh, it's not supposed to be hash. Still password word, but okay. Okay. And then we require... Alright. I'm not brute forcing this. I, I know the password. I, have, I just have a lot. Oh, there we go. See? There we go. 
So, <laughs> wow, I just managed to uh, run this uh, web application that uh, that uh, we made back in uh, back in third year. Uh, this is a, this was a school college project, and I just managed to run this on an environment that is just as old as um, probably a bunch of uh, kids on Fortnite. Wow, this is just this is really bizarre. <laughs> It is just so bizarre to look at. Like this, this thing is running on an environment, right? In this environment, it's, wind it's running on XP, everything on it, the the web server, the uh, the Apache, the database, everything. It's all running on Windows XP. Imagine trying to do this in an actual production environment. This is, just, this is gonna be really, uh, really fun and less secure, obviously since this is running in a very old version of Apache and PHP. But we can say for certain that we can still create web applications on Windows XP, but you can only use vanilla JS. You cannot use framework. React isn't going to work on XP. Um, Vue, Next.js, uh, Svelte isn't going to work on XP as well. It's going to be really hard for you to do that on XP, but you can try vanilla JS add PHP to it um, and you can make it work but it's going to be very tricky and what I just did was it took minutes god damn this took a lot of time to set up imagine doing this in a production environment this is going to be really 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 fun <laughs> and really frustrating like like what I just experienced a few minutes ago anyway so um, yeah that's pretty much it uh, running um a modern browser on Windows XP, so you can you can give this a try on your computer that's still running this old version of Windows. Why not? Um, if you're if you have an old laptop lying around, try try doing that. But of course, it's expected to be very slow because this is a very modern version of Chrome, and you're running it on a I don't know like a Intel Pentium four or maybe something just running on as low as two gigs of RAM. <laughs> With no graphics, no integrated graphics, no, it's, it's gonna be it's gonna be really really slow. But anyway, um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. And uh, yeah, this is, has been a very fun experiment. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.